The armature is the central part of your router's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, and the drive shaft. The armature along with the field create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or a burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cap from the motor. I'll also remove the wires from the switch. Now I'll remove the base from the motor. And if there's a collet installed, I'll remove it too. Now I can remove the motor brushes. I'll use a large screwdriver to remove the brush caps and the brushes. Next, I'll remove the upper half of the motor from the lower half. It's secured with two screws. Now I need to remove the collet adapter from the armature spindle. I'll use an impact wrench to do this. I'll grab the armature with my hand on one side and use the impact to remove the adapter. I'll use a rubber mallet to tap the armature from the housing. Now I can begin installing the new armature. First I'll transfer the commutator end bearing from the old armature over to the new. I'll place the bearing over the armature shaft and then use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner race on the bearing. I'll use the socket to tap the bearing into place. Now I can reinstall the armature into the motor housing. I place the armature into the lower bearing and I'll use a rubber mallet to tap it into place. Now I can reinstall the collet adapter. I'll thread it onto the armature shaft and again use the impact to secure it. Now I'll reinstall the upper half of the motor housing onto the lower half. And secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the motor brushes. These brushes can be a little tricky to reinstall the caps because of this long guard around the brush cap itself. Place the brush into the holder. I'll compress the brush spring and align the clip with the brush holder. Then I'll use a screwdriver to hold it in place. And I'll quickly snap the cap over the top of the brush. And now I'll thread the cap into place. And I do the same thing on the other side.
Now reconnect the wires to the switch. First the black wire, and then the red. And now I can reattach the cap. And I'll secure it with the screws. And now you can replace the armature in your router. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.